What is going on guys? It is Brad or Demon Asylum here on Outside the Box bringing you all a new Fallout 4 video. I'm going to be showing you all another unlimited caps method. This is one that hopefully will be able to work for everyone. The last one that I uploaded and that is kind of the most recent one everyone knows about is of course with Honest Stand, which is a really, really good caps glitch, but it's not working for everyone because some people have a bugged saves where they can't do the quest. Some people are having issues where if they completed the main storyline, the quest isn't available to them. Regardless of what what the reason is it is not working for everybody so i want to bring out some more methods to you guys that hopefully everyone will be able to take advantage of regardless if they beat the main storyline and hopefully this isn't something that can be bugged on your save like with honest dan now the method i'm going to be showing you here is not actually a glitch it is something that anybody can normally do in their game the reason why glitch is in the title is because the only way to viably take advantage of this method as a realistic option for getting a bunch of caps is to use one of the two glitches that I have posted previously. Now what you're going to be doing for this method is basically making however much jet you want. It can be literally unlimited amounts of jet using again one of the two glitches that I've posted about and I'll get into that in a minute. And you're going to be taking that jet to an NPC called Bobby DeLuca who is in Vault 81. He's basically in the basement of Vault 81 in the reactor room. In the gameplay, you guys will see where Vault 81 is on the map, as well as once you get inside Vault 81, exactly where to go in order to get to this NPC. Now, when you get to him, he's going to be there, and when you talk to him, he's going to ask you if you have any jet, and if you do, he will ask if you'll sell it to him, and when you do, you will get 75 caps per one jet. Now, I did a little test, and basically, you're going to be averaging about 750 caps per minute or so, because you're going to be able to sell him 10 jet per minute, so of course, 75 times 10 is 750. Now, basically, what you're going to have to do to sell jet over and over to him is just sit there and spam one button, which is on Xbox One going to be a, and on PlayStation 4, that is going to be X. On PC, I'm not entirely sure what it's going to be, but as I stress in basically all my glitch videos, uh, this kind of stuff really isn't relevant for PC users because they have console commands. Us on PlayStation and Xbox, well, we don't. So, you know, we have to take advantage of these glitches if we do want to be able to get like a bunch of XP and caps and all that sort of stuff as easily as possible. Now that you guys know the gist of the method that's going to be getting you the caps here, let's talk about the two glitches you can choose from that are going to make this a viable option for you to get ridiculous amounts of caps from. Now the first glitch you can do is the one I uploaded more recently which allows you to craft unlimited amounts of any item that you can create on a workbench or a station such as in this case jet within the chemistry station. However you are going to need enough resources in order to make at least one of those items. With the jet I believe you require uh, fertilizer and plastic so I assume most of you guys do have a handful of that already or at the very least enough to at least make one jet so that you can therefore do the glitch. Now if you're someone who doesn't know how to do this glitch already, I'll put a link in the description to my video on how to do it as well as an annotation on the screen. I would just put the guide into this video too, but this along with the other glitch I'm about to get into would just make the video way too long and since I've already made separate videos for these glitches, it's going to be much easier for you as well as myself if you just go watch those videos on how to do them instead. Now the second glitch you can do to make unlimited jet for this infinite caps method is the resources duplication glitch. Basically this glitch is going to allow you to take shipments of any resource in the game that you buy from vendors for instance and then using them to make unlimited amounts of the resources that they correspond with. In this case you're going to be wanting to make jet and the resources that jet requires are fertilizer and plastic so you're going to want to get a shipment of both of those and for even more added speed to this method you can go ahead and duplicate both of those shipments with the dog meat duplication glitch so that instead of maybe only getting 25 of the resource every time you duplicate it because that's how much you get with just one shipment you can maybe do four i believe is what i did so that instead you're getting a hundred every time you duplicate them Either way, as you go on duplicating resources, you're going to be getting them very quickly and you can make unlimited amounts of these so that you can then in turn make unlimited amounts of jet to then in turn get infinite amounts of caps from this method. And again, just like the first glitch I went over in this video, if you guys don't know how to do this one either, I will put a link to a video I did on exactly how to do it in the description below as well as an annotation on the screen. Anyway guys, it's going to be about it for this video. I do have some more methods like this in which I'll be putting out and the reason again why I'm putting out these methods even though they're not as good as the honest stand glitch to get unlimited caps is because not everyone can do that glitch. Like I mentioned in the beginning of the video there's many people who have an issue where their save is bugged and they can't get the quest 
or because they've been in the main storyline, the quest isn't available to them. Whatever the reason, it just goes to show that not everyone can do that glitch. So I do want to put out other methods that basically everybody, regardless of if they be in the storyline, and that are way more likely not to be bugged in their save, are able to do. Of course, most of these methods are going to be something miscellaneous in the game that anybody can do to get caps, but because of the glitch that's going to be paired along with them, such as the two I suggested in this video, it's going to make them very, very viable methods in order to get infinite caps very easily in Fallout 4. So with all that being explained, I do hope you guys have enjoyed the video or found it helpful. As always, if you have any questions regarding this video, whether it be about the method or the two glitches I suggested to go along with it, feel free to post a comment and I will be sure to get back to you as soon as I can and help in any way that I can. And of course, if you guys have enjoyed, feel free to drop a like on the video down below and subscribe for many more Fallout 4 videos to come. Thanks for watching everyone and peace out.